Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the simple search box using HTML and CSS. See the end demo. Whenever we focus on the input field, a close button will pop out. For code, you can visit my CodePen profile. I'll drop the link to the code below this video. Feel free to visit my CodePen profile. CodePen is an online editor, where we can edit our HTML pages and preview the result instantly. We can save our projects in it. Let's get started with HTML structure. First, create the wrapper div element, within it consider a container div element. And inside the container div element, consider an input field with input class and close button. Here I'm using HTML entity for the close button. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm using Roboto font family. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Style the body by setting its font family and background color. For placing any HTML element in the center, one of the easiest ways is to make the element's position value absolute and its parent value to a relative. Now set the top and left properties values to 50%. But we can see that element is not exactly placed in the center. Now use translate method of the transform property to place the element exactly in the middle by setting translate x and translate e values to negative minus 50%. Now style the container by setting its position value to the relative, so that we can place its child elements accordingly. And set the padding. Now style the input field by using the input class, now set its width value to 350 pixels, 3 pixels of the solid white color border, make its background color to transparent, set the padding values and make its corners round by using the border radius property. Use the outline property for removing the blue outline around the input field. Now increase the font size and change the color and make the font weight to bold and finally, set the 1 pixels of the letter spacing. Let's style the placeholder value, by changing its color, font family, letter spacing, and text to uppercase using text transform property.
Here WebKit is used for the Google Chrome browser, and Moz is used for the Firefox browser, and MS is used for the Internet Explorer. Now style the close button, by setting its position value absolute, so that by using top and right properties we can place it accordingly. Increase the font size and finally, change the color and use the transition value for the smooth transition effect. Now make its opacity value to zero, so that whenever we focus into the input field, the close button gets popped out. Now target close button a new active class, and set the opacity value to one. Whenever the active class is added, the close button's opacity value becomes 1 and CSS3 animations get triggered. Here I'm going to use the scale method of the transform property. For creating the zoom in and zoom out effects, Now let's get started with jQuery. First, we need to include the jQuery CDN link in the head section of the HTML structure. I'll drop the jQuery CDN link below this video, please check it out. Now let's add the scripts and write the document ready jQuery lines. Now whenever we focus into the input field, the active class gets added to the close button development. And CSS gets triggered. And whenever we focus out from the input field, the active is removed. Now include the animation property inside the active class.
Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.